you have one, my name is Nihit, and in this video, I'll be talking about the BitSat 2026 cutoffs, right? But before that, I want to talk about the BitSat dates, which have been pre-pwned by one month, right? By one month. So let's just see the dates. So BitSat session one happens to be, uh, the application starts from 15th of December. Uh, the deadline is 16th of March, and the session one will be conducted in between 15th to 17th of April, right? Which used to happen in the month of May, right? In the 20s of May. Now the session two will start from uh, the session two application window will start from 20th of April, right? So if you just want to apply for session two or uh, if you have missed the session one, then you can apply again, right? So the session two window starts from 20th of April. The deadline is 2nd of May and the bits at second attempt will be conducted in between 24 to 26th of May, right? Which used to happen in the month of June. Now the very obvious question is ki why have they pre it? And the reason is very simple. BitSat used to be happen uh, was one of the last engineering entrance exams to happen, and because of this, the counseling st uh, the counseling process used to happen very late, right? Ab isse kya hota tha? Ki a lot of people uh, used to get an upgrade through the JOSA counseling, and jinko lower branches mil rahi or mil rahi hoti thi IIT mein, unko ek upgrade milta tha, and they used to weaken their seat at bits, right? And jiske wajah se the cutoffs of 2025 really fell down, right? So what to expect? Now, since your uh, BitSat counseling and the JOSA counseling will go hand in hand, right? It will go simultaneously. So people will have to choose either in between the lower branches of IT or BITS, right? And the very normal consequence is that you'll see a spike in the BITSAT cutoffs. Also, guys, there's one more examination which is very important for you. That is NSAT, the entrance examination of Newton School of Technology. Newton School of Technology offers a four-year tech program focused purely on computer science and artificial intelligence. You start coding from day one, learn through real projects, get international exposures, and do multiple internships to build a very strong portfolio. Now, the pattern of NSAT is a bit different from other examinations. You've got 30 math questions, 30 logical reasoning questions, and 20 English questions. And if you're preparing for JWE, MHTCT, or BITSAT, then you will be able to crack this examination. Students here have interned in companies like Zoomka, DRDO, and Razorpay. And multiple students have cracked GSOC in the first or the second year itself. And students here are mentored by the ex-industry experts from companies like Google and Goldman Sachs. So if you're serious about tech and want to build a successful career, then NST is the path. And do not miss the NSAT examination, which happens to be on 27th of December. Check out the details. The link is in the description. Now, cutoffs of any examination, irrespective of its nature, uh, depends upon a lot of factors, right? Including BITSAT. So the total number of students, seed switching thing, which will obviously decrease in the season, right? The total number of branches or the total number of seats, and the paper pattern, right? The paper pattern in 2025 was like really weird, right? There were like more than five questions, uh, five SOT questions in sub shifts or kuch shifts mein organic was very redundant, right? So the pattern was very unpredictable, just because cutoffs kafi low gai thi pishle saal, right? So talking about the BITSAT branches, right? So in 2025, they have introduced three new branches. First was a dual degree, which was MSc in semiconductor. The second was B in electronics and computing, which was uh, introduced only in the Goa campus, right? That's why I've made this weird emoji. And the third was B in environmental, right? Which does not have a lot of engineering relevance, but yeah, it was introduced. So the total number of seats were increased and that too had a reflection on the cutoffs, right? Now talking about your total competition, right? The total number of students who really appear in BITSAT, in 2024, it was 1,77,000 in session one, and session two made 2,36,000. In 2025, this fell down to 1,2,000 in session one, and 1,36,000 in session two, right? Uh, up in 2026, what is the number, right? So if I give you a very general trend, 2022, 2023, and 2024, ka, so, you know, the general trend is that you can actually expect anywhere in between 2.8 to 3 lakh of unique candidates appearing in BITSAT, right? So this is the overall competition that you might face in 2026. Now let us talk about the safe scores, right? What is the safe score for the computer science branch? So for Pilani, I would say it's about 320 and for Goa, it's 295 plus and for Hyderabad, this is 290 plus, right? And these are taken from the general trends that were followed in the year of 2024 and 2023. And again, 2025 was quite an outlier year, right? Entry-level scores, ki baat karte hai, toh, entry level, level scores usually revolve around two branches, which is MSc Bio of Hyderabad or the MSc Bio of Goa, right? And the range, the closing range of uh, these two branches is in between 200 to 210, depending upon the year, right? You see, uh, range ke under, you'll find the closing ranks of MSc Bio Goa or MSc Bio Hyderabad, right? There are two more branches which have which I've got even lower cutoff, which is B Pharma and B Environmental. 
but uh, मतलब इनकी कट ऑफ इज इन वन एटीज बट दे डू नॉट हैव अ लॉट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग रेलिवेंस राइट सो इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग इंजीनियरिंग देन टू हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड टेन इज अ सेफ स्कोप फॉर एंट्री राइट ना टॉकिंग बाउट द पास्ट ये कट ऑफ राइट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वॉट विद द कट ऑफ सो ई सी में पिलानी ई सी पिलानी वज थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टीन ई सी गोवा वज टू एटी सेवन ई सी हैदराबाद वज टू एटी फोर ट्रिपल ई पिलानी वज टू नाइनटी टू ट्रिपल ई गोवा वज टू सेवेंटी एट एंड ट्रिपल ई हैदराबाद वज टू सेवेंटी फाइव ई एन आई पिलानी वज टू एटी टू ई एन आई गोवा वज टू सेवेंटी एंड ई एन आई हैदराबाद वज अगेन टू सेवेंटी राइट दिस फॉर दर ट्वेंटी फोर अब मैकेनिकल और केमिकली बात करते हैं तो मैकेनिकल पिलानी वज टू सिक्सटी सिक्स मैकेनिकल गोवा वज टू फिफ्टी फोर मैकेनिकल हैदराबाद वज टू फिफ्टी वन केमिकल पिलानी वज टू फोर्टी सेवन केमिकल गोवा वज टू थर्टी नाइन एंड केमिकल हैदराबाद वज टू थर्टी एट राइट नॉट टॉकिंग बट द लास्ट ईयर राइट विच वज द ईयर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड द कट ऑफ क्वाइट फेर अलॉट राइट सो ई सी पिलानी वज टू एटी फाइव ई सी गोवा वज टू फिफ्टी फाइव ई सी हैदराबाद वज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स ट्रिपल ई पिलानी टू सिक्सटी ट्रिपल ई गोवा टू फोर्टी थ्री एंड ट्रिपल ई हैदराबाद वज टू थर्टी नाइन राइट ई एन आई में इट वज टू फिफ्टी टू थर्टी फोर एंड टू थर्टी टू राइट अब नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट मैकेनिकल एंड केमिकल विच आर अगेन द कोर ब्रांचेस एंड यहाँ पर टू थर्टी फाइव ऑफ पिलानी गोवा वज टू ट्वेंटी थ्री मैकेनिकल हैदराबाद वज टू फोर्टीन केमिकल पिलानी वज टू हंड्रेड टेन केमिकल गोवा वज टू हंड्रेड सिक्स एंड केमिकल हैदराबाद वज टू हंड्रेड फाइव राइट सो द कट ऑफ सर्दिस यूर वर लाइक स्टूपिंगली लो सो दैट्स वज दैट वज आई थिंक ऑल अबाउट द वीडियो राइट आफ टोल्ड यू अबाउट द पास्ट यर ट्रेंड्स I I don't think you will have enough window for your preparation, but that preparation, because it is going to be in a very close vicinity to your JWA examinations, and the only edge you have is that you prepare uh, like specifically for BITSAT, especially for the English LR section, because that is something, uh, मतलब which is not there in JWA means, and yeah, that's all because.